first video. I'm going to start this by driving because, well, I don't know if I'm going to be any good at this and I don't want my family to make fun of me because I've been watching these videos of people um, these people are just like doing these videos and they're actually like helping them through their experiences with their life and it, and it helps them with their everyday addiction problems and sobriety problems and um, you know family problems all, all the problems and I suffer from a lot of different things and I don't have I have like one friend and I'm, I'm in the town that you know, I've been here for four years but I don't really know anybody I don't know you know, and I'm a, I'm a pretty intense introvert, but, you know, um, so I'm deep into my sobriety right now. I've been clean, uh, since July 19th, July 19th, I went into detox in Plymouth Falls. I traveled four or five hours, um, away from my town I live in to um, to detox because I knew if I detoxed in my town that um, I wouldn't stay. I would have bounced out of there and got drugs um, and or, you know, whatever, I know. So I, I went to detox in Tama Falls at a place called the Best Care um, I was in there one other time to, um, also for three months inpatient. Um, I didn't stay clean very long. I, I pretty much dropped everything when I left there the first time. Uh, and it just got bad to the point when I came home one morning, my, my girlfriend and my daughter were sitting there with, with a drug test, and I just told them that it, it, they didn't need it, that I was dirty, that I went and got drugs because I was sick, and that that moment, literally, I had my back out, and I was packing it, and left for treatment. I wasn't staying for the whole treatment, I was just going there to detox and then coming home and getting into the methadone program. Uh, methadone's not for everybody. Uh, but it, it is for me because it helps me. Um, I do think this time I'm going to be a lifer on it because I, I just relapsed. I, I can't do it myself. I can't. I'm not going to lie. So, anyways, that's kind of part of my story. It goes back to when I was a little girl, you know, my, my experiences and my trauma. Um, I'm right now going to uh, the clinic to get my methadone for the morning, this morning. Um, guys, I made your truck. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Um, I don't have all the special devices that people have. I don't have a thing. I ordered a thing so that I could put my camera or my phone up in a different angle, but I haven't received it yet. Um, yeah, I'm just here to introduce myself to the YouTube um, community. <laughs> um, I got my, uh, my inspiration to do this from two people that I watch. Um, oh, I kind of watch them over and over because I haven't got a hang of it yet, but, um, yeah, uh, Rockin', Rockin' Roberta is awesome. I love listening to her. Um, she's just something else. 
I like I like following her. I like listening to her. She gives me ex- ex- uh, she gives me like the, the courage to go on here and talk as a woman in in the day and time it is at our age being addicted. It's not easy being addicted, but it's even harder being addicted at at an elder at an elder type age. At our age, it's not easy. Um, it's not easy for anybody. Don't get me wrong. Um, and also, Tripod Troy, I believe. Um, I heard Roberta, Rock and Roberta, talking about him, and so I went to check him out. He's awesome. He's awesome. I just a lot of I get a lot of help from him. Um, I also am. Um, Bipolar and also OCD. Uh, it's not just a regular OCD where people say that. Uh, I literally take medication for it. <laughs> it's horrible. I don't have it extremely bad where I have to tap on walls, but it tends to get a little bit worse the older I get. So, um, yeah. Those two plus Gina, that, I can't ever say her last name, Gina. Makeup, Gina. Her makeup's always so beautiful. Um, I like watching her, too, because she's so confident. She doesn't care what people think, and she's confident about that. And I really love that in a, in a woman. Not in a woman like that, but, like, you know, strong women are, are what we have to be in this world, you know? So, I'm going to stop now. Um, I'm getting ready to go in here in a few minutes in the park. Um, I'll try and do this a little tiny bit throughout the days to try and get myself <laughs> comfortable with this. Um, I'm really, really shy. Really shy. So, um, yeah. Thank you.